Okay. So let us start with the show proper. I will enable the opening, but we will skip it. Actually, can I change it? I kind of want to disable that opening. Okay. Um I'm fumbling around with that setting still. But that should be fine now. Okay. Atari Goroshi, for the shortest scenario. Hello, Slag. It has been, once again, just a little while. This time a little while, honestly a little while. But yeah. First killing chapter. Man, curse or coincidence? How are the conjectures said you solidif solidifying? I look forward to whether those conjectures will waver or become a cornerstone in, cornerstone in this scenario. The difficulty is the worst. You will probably not even be able to make conjecture. Okay. Lovely. Oh, that's lovely. That's... Okay. Let's let's actually watch the opening because the snake in the well was happy for it did not care what was outside the well. The snake in the well was happy for it had naught to do what happened outside the well. And you were happy too for you did not know what happened outside the well. Hmm. Okay. I need a better chair. It was a very humid day. Not even the slightest sl a slight breeze was blowing. It had been... Yeah, I'm in a proper position here in the stream. It had been an unpleasant summer. One that wasn't... Uh, not, well, that one that wasn't only hot, but swelteringly so. There were various articles of clothing hung out to dry in the massive apartment windows. The lack of wind awoke an impression far removed from coolness. In fact, it only felt more oppressive. There were crooked houses and apartments lining the narrow, twisting road. In addition, there were planters and flower pots whose contents were beginning to rot, as well as bicycles and cars on the sides of the road. I'm making it even more cramped, more oppressive, and all the more sweltering. Nobody who was in that place at this time was visiting it voluntarily. But in spite of what everyone might expect, a single motorcycle came rolling in. A lone motorcycle, which couldn't be called neat, even as a flattery, pulled up to a two-story co apartment complex and stopped there. A man, fairly old and wrinkled, stepped off. When the housewife hanging out the laundry noticed him, she called out. Well, hello there. It's quite hot today again, isn't it? Oh, you got that right. I feel like I'm gonna boil out here. <laughs> All right, landlord. 
I didn't think that would be the first thing you'd say. You said. Oh, sorry, sorry. The fluorescent lights, huh, alright? I completely forgot. <laughs> not, no, not that. Don't you smell it? There's a terrible smell about. I've been smelling it since this morning. Wait, what's this? It tricks. The sewers get backed up again. Do something about it, landlord. I've had to keep my nose plugged all day long. <laughs> You'd still look plenty lovely plucking your nose, my dear. <laughs> there was an unhygienic drainage channel running behind the apartment. The lattice from which it flowed was stuffed with branches and fallen leaves, and when filth got caught up in them, it created an awful stench in the summertime. Could you tell the municipal office about it? The drain will end up buried at this rate. Well, yikes, it's completely blocked. Eh, it'll start back up if you poke it with a stick. The man crossed the fence over the drain channel and picked up a filthy drying pole sitting nearby. He must have planned to stick it into the drain and clear it out. <laughs> I don't know how to laugh. <laughs> that sounded horrible. Ah, oh, wait, landlord, stop that. If you mix it all strange, you if you do, if you mix it all strange, if you do that, it will smell terrible. <laughs> if the smell, it smells if it's clogged and it smells if it if it's mixed. Which should I choose? <laughs> he shoved the drying pole into the field into the in the lattice. Of course, it did nothing to help the accumulation of waste. Yeah, it's a dead cat. This is a health gen. This is the health center's job. Cats and dogs smell awful when they die. A bamboo pole's not going to do much good. Garbage bags, old coats, they throw all kinds of stuff in there. And is that a duck I see? Well, of course it's the, the nerve of some people. The drench, drainage channel was already unsanitary, but was little more garbage at this point. The stream of such imprudent people was never ending, and now this channel had turned into a garbage dump. When he poked the pile of old clothes floating in the sewage, a black cloud of smoke floated out into the water. The two of them grimaced at the terribly, terrible, bizarre and repulsive sight. Gah. We've got maggots, eh? Someone must have thrown kitchen waste in. Oh, a landlord. What's that? What? Just more garbage. Landlord, that's... Huh? Eh? Eh? Eek! Eek! Oh, hello! Good work today. Ah, what a terrible stench. Hey, Bruce, get everyone to surround this area, including further up the channel. It's in plain sight of two floor houses. Identified the deceased. Identity of the deceased unknown. Sex female. Age estimated to be late twenties or early thirties. Time of death about two or. Three. Three days ago. She was probably abandoned after death. Make it too. Figuring out who we, who she is will be rough. Contact the community division and ask if anyone's gone missing. They probably weighed her down so she'd sink. Then the weights came off and she floated to the top. But why in the drainage drainage tour of all things? Who would have been better under and over? Would have been better under an overpass or in the mountains, you know? And it would have been outside our jurisdiction, right? But it looks like they were never want to hide the corpse at all. Did they do it so she would be found? As a warning or, warning or something? This slice in her stomach definitely wasn't from a fish eating her. 
she was cut open and her insides were dragged out. They really made a show out of killing her. Doesn't this Chinese mafia do these sorts of traditional punishments? Ask Shigesan in section 4 if she, he's had any trouble with the Yakuza. On it, sir. Still, what a terrible way to go. Her, hey, don't her innards poking out like that sort of... Sort of look like... Look... Sort of like the salad soba you can get in Kyoto. Maybe if you stuck no chopsticks in noodles would pop out, see? Ugh. Please give me a break. <laughs> her intestines were pulled out, her ears and nose cut off. That's definitely not how I want to go. Her fingers are in bad state too. There are no long nails stuck in all of them on both hands. What kind of torture was this anyway? Happy, happy, fun, fun. I'll be right back. Gotta get some more coffee. theories. I have no clue who that might be. Possibly... Possibly... No, no idea. The nurse? The... I can't remember her name right now. Takano. Yeah, that's her. So it could have been Takano. Possibly. That's the only theory I have so far. So, yeah. By the way, I need to update the... What's that with nails on fingers? Yeah. I need to update the... Um, title? There we go. The most relaxing time during the school day? Lunch for sure. Everyone brought their desks side by side like always and we all ate together. Oh my! Neonsa, what's... What's with the voices? Why aren't there any voices? I need my voices! I want voices! God damn! Oh my, Mion-san, if I may say, your lunch looks ap quite appetizing today. There are so many different things, it's wonderful. Satoko and Rikachan looked at Mion's lunch, shouting gladly. Let's have a look. Whoa! I just packed in some leftovers from last night. All the elders were having a drinking party at my house yesterday. I managed to nab some of what they didn't eat. Hahaha. <laughs> So that's why they look all look like snacks you could have with a su with sake. Hmm. They're but leftovers, mere scraps of food, but when arranged in a bento box so cleanly, they look impressive. 
It looks like part of a full course meal at a high class restaurant. People seem to decide if they like things mainly based on their first impression. Yeah, is there supposed to be a CG here? Well, shoot. Let's do a quick little fix on that. <laughs> 